Assalamualaikum and good day. In this video, you will learn how to solve a linear programming problem with two variables by using a graphical method. Here, we are going to concentrate on one of the most basic methods to handle a linear programming problem, which is the graphical method. In principle, this method works for almost all different types of problems but gets more and more difficult to solve when the number of decision variables and the constraints increases. Therefore, we will illustrate it in a simple case for an LP with two variables only. The graph must be constructed in two dimensions and it has the x1 and x2 axis. Let us solve a maximization problem as in example 2.2. This is an LP model with two variables and three constraints. The first constraint is x1 less than or equal to 6. Second constraint is 2x1 plus 3x2 less than or equal to 19. And the last constraint is x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 8. And both variables are non-negative. We will first plot each of the inequalities as equations and then consider the inequality sign to find the area that satisfies every inequality. Note that we are only interested in the first quadrant since we cannot have negative x1 and x2. Let's draw the first constraint, x1 equals to 6. This is a vertical line that passes through point. Six, zero. Our next task is to take into account the inequality sign. Find the area that satisfies x1 less than or equal to 6. This area is all where all x1 are less than or equal to 6. How to find the area? The simple method is to put the coordinates of the origin, 0, 0, into the constraint, determine whether the origin satisfies the inequality sign. If yes, then the side of the constraint line on which the origin lies is the valid side. Otherwise, it lies on the opposite side. Therefore, the area for the first constraint is on the left side of the line. Next, draw the second constraint. The easiest way to, to graph a linear line is to use its intercepts. These are points of the line that are found on the x1 and x2 axis. Same as before, we substitute point 0, 0 into the constraint and find the area. It shows that the point satisfies the inequality. Hence, the area for this constraint is below the line. Now, let's draw the last constraint. The intercept points of this graph is 0, 8, 0, 8, and 8, 0. Since the origin lies in the valid side of the constraint, therefore the area of this constraint is below the line. region on the graph is the one which is satisfied by all the constraints
it could be viewed as the intersection of the valid regions of each constraint line as well. The next step is to plot the objective function on the graph. Choose a constant value to replace z in the equation of the objective function. Let assign z as 35. Therefore, the objective function becomes 5x1 plus 7x2 equals to 35. Draw the function. This is the profit line or the objective line. The final step is to find the optimal point. Move the objective line or the profit line parallelly upward until the line touch the last corner of the feasible region. This is the optimum point for maximizing the function. The coordinate of this point is Three. Hence, the optimal solution of this LP problem is x1 is equal to 5 and x2 equals to 3. And the optimum value is z equals to 46. These are the steps to solve a maximization problem using graphical method. First, draw a graph of each constraint and determine the feasible region. Then, draw the objective function line and without changing the slope, move the line toward the last corner of the feasible region. The optimal point gives the largest value to the objective function. That's all for now. Thank you.